Stephen, it was announced last week that you'd be leaving by Spartans and, as you said, effectively ending your football career. What, what are the emotions? Um, I'm good to be honest. Uh, we're, we're flying high at Blythe at the minute. We're, um, we're blowing teams away, to be honest. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm good at It's all I've known since I was a kid. And uh, it, it's a really tough one to give up, especially when you're winning every week because you, all you see is a good side of football. Do you know what I mean? When you're winning, if we're down the bottom, I'd maybe say, oh, maybe it's time. But uh, no, I'm devastated. I'm absolutely gutted. But it's nice to go out on a bang. It's nice to go out on a high. And I've, I've had a really nice reaction from the fans and the players. and in the board of Bly, so like I say, I'm, I'm really disappointed, but I'm going on and out, out on a high, so it's nice that way. People watching might not know why you're leaving, can you just explain about the, the role you've got? Um, I'm an engineer, I work as a uh, marine engineer on a cruise ship, paying all cruise ships, so it's a, it's a case of being away for 12 weeks at a time and off for 12 weeks, so I, I couldn't really play for 12 and then go away for 12, because it wouldn't be fair on anyone, so yeah, uh, I'm an engineer on a cruise ship. And then life on the seas will be a little bit warmer than uh, December at, at Croft Park, no doubt. Oh, definitely, yeah. I'm going on a uh, world cruise, so I joined the ship in Auckland, which is nice, and it, it makes its way back round. It goes over to Australia and up to Japan, Dubai, Thailand, and places like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky in that sense that I get to travel the world and see the world, but it's just twinged with a bit of sadness that I can't of play football anymore. And, and Bly Spartans clearly has a, a special place for you. Being there four to- effectively four times, we'll say. Um, it's, it's a real special club for you. Oh, really special club. I, I absolutely love it there. And some places you go, it just fits. And it's just fitted for me every time. I, I've get, I've gotten on well with the fans. The fans have been brilliant with us. The lads I've played with, I've, I've always gotten on well with. And to be honest, I've only ever really known success at Blythe. Every time I've been there, we've done well. We've never really been in a dogfight or anything like that. And the last three years I've been there, it's it's just been every week, winning, 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 home and away. So. Yeah, like I say, I couldn't speak highly enough of the club. Last time I was away, I, I said the same things, but it's just kind of repeating that. It's, it's a great club. It's run properly. We're winning every week. And like I say, I, I'm, I'm devastated, but it's, uh, I think it's the right time. We will come on to special memories. I think we know what will come up, but we'll talk about managers as well. Um, Tom, who's on the show tonight, as uh, one of our pundits, you've mentioned him specifically in, uh, in your statement that went out. and It really has a, a big impact on your career. Oh, massively. In, in, in the end, it was like he's me mate. Do you know what I mean? He's just such a top bloke. And he got his back to Blythe. I'd had a season of children that didn't really work out. And I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. And then Tom got his back. And I, I just started loving me football again. And I couldn't thank Tom enough, to be honest, for getting his, getting his to enjoy me football so much and, and just get that hunger back. Do you know, when once you have a bad season, sometimes you, you kind of lose your way. And he rang us straight away. He's like, I want you to come. I want you to play. And use your experience and I went back and I hadn't looked back. I, I, I've absolutely loved me football the last three years. I, sometimes when you're younger and you're having tough games and stuff like that, you think, oh, is it worth it? But under, like I say, under Tom the last three years, I've absolutely loved me football. Uh, you mentioned earlier the supporters and the bond that you've got with them. So on Saturday in the win, it'll just another big win. Um, whether the lads from Canic, uh, supporters of, of Bly Spartans and lads from Coventry, uh, give you a very special welcome. But but not just them, all supporters of Blythe you seem to have a great bond with. Yeah, I do, I really do. Um, like I say, I've, I've never seen anything like that. Like people from Canic and Coventry coming up to Blythe to support when every away game they're there and like, people will say, oh, the fans are brilliant. But these these lads, and even the home fans as well, they're absolutely brilliant. And uh, like I say, the Coventry and the Canic fans didn't stop singing all game. And I, th- I think they appreciate the fact that we appreciate them because, you know, professional, you, you Sometimes I think you can't really get that bond, but after every game, we'll go over and we'll shake the hands and thank them. We'll see them in the clubhouse after the game. So, again, with them, they're almost like become your friends, you know what I mean? So, I, I couldn't speak highly enough of them as well. They've, they've been brilliant, with not just me, but all the lads. Um, I'll, I'll let you talk about it because it's probably going to come up anyway. But a special memory from the, your time at Blythe? Oh, it was the FA Cup night. It, was, it wasn't just the best memory of Blythe, it was the best memory of your life, do you know what I mean? Um, that, that cup run and I say it was just it was just brilliant to be a part of, and when you when you're playing and you see other teams do it, because there's always one team every year. You you think, will it will it be ever be me? Will it ever be our team? And Blythe done it ten years ago, so I thought, ah, nah, probably. Won't. But then to get that cup run and then to beat Hartlepool, my ex team who let us go, it was just nice to get one over on them. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I just that was easy, the best best moment in your career without doubt. Just a final one, if you had a message for, not, not just the supporters, but everyone at Blythe, the players, the board, the management, what would it be? Just keep going. The, the club is just, it's 
going in one direction that's that way do you know what I mean everything about the place is, is spot on the fans are there positive every week the the club's in a great position I think I, I kind of speak financially but I think it is and they've got a really good team there and they've got a, a lot of young lads who could be there for the next seven eight nine years so for me I, all I would say is just keep it going because everything seems to be going in the right directions you, you see some clubs and all you ever hear is negative and negative but at Blythe at the minute like I say everything's just positive and it it's a great one to be around you everyone all the lads are like good mates and Every time you go, every week, the fans expect you to win. We expect to win. It's just a really positive, good place to be around. So, like I say, I would just say keep going, keep doing what you're doing.